Oh, let's see here. Number 41 through 50. If you have ever knocked your transmission in the neutral coming down to three sisters, well, you might be a chicken hauler. 42. <laughs> this one taught me a motherfucking lesson. I'll tell you that shit right now. Number 42. If you have ever, oh yeah, if you have never been down Sandstone Mountain in West Virginia on 64, and your buddy warned you to take it easy and go slower than the posted speed limit for a truck, because she is a bad mama jamma, and you smoke your brakes anyway, because you didn't listen to a fucking word he told you, and then you finally get it stopped. When your smokes look like they're, your fucking brakes look like they're on fire, they're smoking so bad. You walk back up the hill and call him on your cellular phone and tell him about it. Oh, bye, guys. You're a fucking chicken hauler. Let's see here. Number 43. <laughs> Yours truly again on this guy. If you have ever hauled hogs and while loading them and unloading them, and anybody that's hauled hogs know how much of a cocksucker can be to unload and load hogs. But if you have, and while you was unloading them and loading them, you talked to them, talked to the hogs and told them that you fucked their sister last night, well, you might just be a nasty motherfucking chicken hauler. Come on. Number 44. If you... <laughs> If you ever pull into the Sisseton scale coming south out of North Dakota into South Dakota and you're overweight and you know it and say fuck it anyway oh, they, you just say to yourself they won't fuck with me tonight and you pull under anyway <clears throat> and you pull on the scale and they tell you to come around back and you get yourself a $632 ticket and gotta pay the motherfucker before you can leave well by God you're a fucking chicken trucker, chicken hauler, don't give a fuck. <laughs> that sucked that night. Number 45. If your favorite place to shop for clothes is tractor supply, well, you just might be a chicken hauler. Let's see here. Number 46. <laughs> Number 46. If every time you take a shit at a truck stop, you feel the urge to take your marker out and draw a pussy on the wall. You just might be a fucking nasty perverted chicken hauler. Number 47. I ain't too proud of this one. Neither is Pearl Bar, but hey, it happens sometimes. If you can go five or six days without a shower, you are no doubt probably a perverted stinky meat hauler. And also a chicken holler. Come on. Let's see here. Number number 48. <laughs> if you know how to get your blow-up doll to go down on you, you're probably a chicken holler. And, then, and if any of you don't know how to get a blow-up doll to go down on you, just ask me. I'll tell you. Number 49. If your blow-up doll talks back to you, you're probably a chicken hawk. And here you go, number 50. If you've got your blow-up doll in the passenger seat, seat belted in with a blonde wig on, nice little tank top with a mini skirt on, and a cigarette duct taped in her mouth, there is no doubt, no fucking doubt, that you're a nasty, nasty, perverted fucking meat hauler, chicken hauler from Nebraska that don't give a fuck about nothing. That's right. You get that old fucking blow-up doll seat belt in that pack in your seat, like I said. Get your duct tape stuck in her mouth, or cigarette duct tape in her mouth. Get that blonde wig on her. Why well, fuck redhead, blonde, fucking brown hair. You can get all different kinds. Just dress her up how you want. Get that mini skirt on her. Get them nylons on her. Them big high long boots that, them boots to go up their knees. Yeah, you can make that shit look good, I'll tell you what right now. 
Alright. Anyway. That's number 50. Well, it's, uh, 11.45 at night. Yeah, 11.45, March 12th. Did 1 through 50 tonight. I'm going to Idaho tomorrow, so... We'll get her figured out. I'll have to put at least 10, 20 more on tomorrow night. Fucking comment on these motherfuckers. That's right. My hair looks like shit, don't it? Anyway. Oh, yeah, I gotta get my, uh... Stars and bars in there. There we go. That's right. See y'all later.